Good morning, my friends. Today is under the sea. So I put on my going to the seaside outfit today. We're still in my backyard, I'm afraid, but that's how it is. Um, so you, some of you will have received a piece of paper that looks like this. Uh, let me see if I can fold it up again. Looks like this. Um, Sophie and Pearson, this is yours. What you need to do is open it up and stand it up like this so you can see through the sides okay so now you have your underwater seascape looks like this all right you'll also have received lots of bits of um, colored paper that you can make fish from you can make um, sea stars and you know whatever um, seaweed all kinds of lovely things all right and um, the the rest of you have received a piece of paper like this um, it is not cut yet there will be lines for you to cut along and i want you to make them wavy okay only cut up to the line that comes across the paper don't cut any further than that cut from the folded side and make sure that you get one two three four five six seven eight strips total that means you have to make seven cuts okay when you have done that here comes the really super duper tricky part. And I have to tell you guys, today, my brain is not working very well. I made mistakes and more mistakes and more mistakes. So this is, I don't know, the gazillionth time that I'm trying to make this video for you. So if you find this to be a little bit difficult, it's okay, apparently so do I. Um, I'm gonna take out my little board here and hopefully you'll be able to see what's going on. So we're gonna open it up like this okay and then we are going to do something tricky we're going to take it apart like this okay so we're going to take actually i'm telling this wrong let's fold it up again i think that'll be easier for you guys we have it folded up again here now we are going to take every other wave and pull it through to this side Okay, so put your hand through, take your second wave and fold it inside. So you see it's folded outside, we're gonna fold it inside now. And we're gonna pull it through to the other side here. Ta-da, like that. So now it's over here instead of over here. We're gonna do that with the next one also. Well, with wave number three or four, we're gonna skip one we're gonna pull through okay like that we're gonna skip the next one again and pull one through now to do this before you start cutting it's actually quite practical to make a fold along the line that was drawn okay and then we're gonna take the bottom one and pull it over to the other side And just make sure that our folds are okay. Now, we have waves on two sides, but they're opposite, see? So wave, no wave, wave, no wave, no wave, wave, no wave, wave, so on, so forth. Okay, so far, so good. Here comes the gluing bit. And let me tell you, it is not easy either. Nothing today is going to be easy at all, except for, you know, the final result. The final result is gonna look so cool. So you're going to open up your waves, look through. Ooh, it's kind of like you're looking through, I don't know, um, the rib cage of a huge whale. Maybe not a huge whale, a little whale. So open up here. You're going to put glue on the side that is down on, on the table here, okay? So put glue on here, all the way along, on the next one also told you it was going to be tricky today <laughs> and this one and then the last one okay all the way across now hold on here we're going to take our paper and slide it in Let's take our green paper because you got two pieces of green paper didn't you I'm gonna slide that all the way to the bottom here. 
like that. Make sure that it's lined up all along. Okay, and press it on. Press the wave down like that, like that. Okay, press that on, press it on, press it on, like that. Okay, now we're going to do it on the other side. That means we're going to flip it over. Okay, we're gonna flip it over to the other side and repeat, okay? So once again, we're going to put glue in underneath, okay? okay? So I, I'm gonna show you again. So we'll be able to Lift it up like this, look it through, and put glue on in here, okay? Here we go, here comes the glue. There's one, and two, and three. You have, have four waves on each side of your sea ski. I know, this is really confusing, isn't it? crazy stuff why do i come up with these things you ask well why not because if we don't challenge ourselves and try something difficult from time to time are we ever going to get better not really that's how life is we always have to keep challenging ourselves always have to try to do something that's a little bit harder than what we did yesterday okay that is the goal the goal in life so once you're done gluing this I didn't do a very good job of this because I just wanted to show you how to do it you'll have something that looks like this like right? so paper on each side and you'll be able to open it up and it'll be able to stand on its own let me just get this out of the way so I can show you here we go so it will stand like this Ta-da! you know look like that with the green behind it so now it's time for the fun part cutting out your shapes and gluing them on. I have pre-cut the ones for Pearson and Sophie. The rest of you guys have to cut your own. So let me just show you. I'm gonna make a little, um, what shall we make? Uh, a jellyfish? Jellyfish, jellyfish are fun. They may sting, but they're very pretty. So I'm gonna first make an arch. Can you see that? There it is, my arch. I'm going to make some legs, squiggly legs, squiggly legs, there's room for just one more squiggly leg there, like that, and then I'm going to cut it out, so here we go, this is my jellyfish, I'm going to cut that one out, with my scissors. <laughs> and we can sing under the sea again. Dee 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 dee. Dee 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 dee. Darling, it's better down where it's the wetter. Take it from me. Even this something in the ray. Da, 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 da. I have no clue about this song, Under the Sea. Do you know that song? It's from, it's from The Little Mermaid, isn't it? They're trying to tell her that she should stay under the sea because all those people up on land where it's dry with their legs and everything, not nearly as much fun as being under the sea. Okay, I think that I have finished my jellyfish here. Oops, there we go. One jellyfish. Now I have to decorate it a little bit. I have to give it some eyes, I think. What do you think? I think it should definitely have eyes. So I'm gonna give it one eye, two eyes, and a little mouth. So it's a happy little jellyfish. Ready to sting somebody, haha. <laughs> okay, so I have my jellyfish. I have pre-cut the rest of my pieces. So I have some seaweed, a big seaweed. I have a little coral there. See, I have decorated it too. 
Um, it's got some little dots there to give it some texture. I have a yellow fish. It looks kind of like an angel fish, doesn't it? And I have a sea star. Um, I have a little, another little fish. I have this guy. I think I decided it was sort of like a squid, even if it only has three tentacles. Um, I have an eel. He looks happy. <laughs> I have a little, a little octopus with only four arms. Not nearly enough, is it? And I have a little goldfish also. Um, I thought for sure I had, a, had some more. Aha, there's my little green seaweed. So now I'm going to glue them on. So I'm just gonna put some glue on the back of this and put it onto my waves. So the seaweed is gonna go at the bottom like that. I'm gonna have another piece of seaweed also going on the bottom over here I think on the other side so now it looks like this okay I think I'm gonna have my uh, my big jellyfish that I made it's gonna go over on the other side so I'm gonna put that over here you see that? So we have a 3D space and we're gonna use it. So now I have my, my seaweed in the front and my jellyfish on the back side. Okay, I'm gonna have my eel. My eel is probably swimming around the seaweed, don't you think? I think that's what they usually do. I don't know much about eels actually. So I'm gonna put them on down here. like that i think we need some more fish over here in the background so how about my nice bright yellow angel fish i'm gonna put that one up here like that see it's coming together right um and the little pink octopus um ooh. It's windy out here, a little windy. A little pink octopus, I think he's gonna go way down here. I think that usually this type of octopus, they live in the very deep sea. So you see, it's we're using all the space here. Um, the coral is gonna go over here by the little, on the back, and I'm just gonna finish gluing these things on and then I will show you my finished seascape. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There we go. And I have my little squiddy. It's gonna go on somewhere over here. Oh, it is swimming really high today. I have my sea star. Gotta put it on. I think that it will go over here. And my goldfish. Or whatever kind of fish it is. It's just orange like goldfish. Uh, maybe we'll put that one here. There we go. Let me get this out of the way and here we are, my seascape is done. Now you can put as many or as few into your seascape as you want to, but um, I think that this looks nice and full. They're not gonna be lonely. So have fun with this. I hope you're able to get this whole frame together because trust me, that was difficult for me today. Some days are just like that, right? Have a great day. I hope that you get an opportunity to get, go to the sea or go to a beach sometime soon this summer. Take care. Have a great day. Bye.